In this video, we're going to learn how to sort three numbers in Python without using the built-in sort function or any similar sort functions. This problem is often given to students taking computer programming courses to help them learn how to think through and solve a problem. So we'll also go over the thought process involved in solving the problem. First, we'll prompt the user to enter three numbers and we'll store the numbers they enter into variables. So we'll have here n1 is equal to float and then input with enter number one colon. So this call to input is going to prompt the user with the text enter number one. The string the user enters is going to be returned by the input function. Float is going to take that string and convert it to a floating point number and we'll have n1 store that number. Then we'll do the same thing for n2 and n3, our second and third numbers. So we'll have n2 is equal to float and input, enter number two, and we'll have n3 is equal to float, input, and then enter number three. And this will give us our three numbers, n1, n2, and n3. So if we have three numbers, there's only six possible orders for those numbers. So for example, n1 could be the lowest number. In that case, n1 is going to be less than or equal to n2 and n3. Now among n2 and n3, there's only two possible orders. Either n2 is less than or equal to n3, or n3 is less than or equal to n2. So either n2 is less than or equal to n3, or n3 is less than or equal to n2. And this here covers two of the six possibilities, where n1 is the lowest number, n2 is the middle number, and n3 is the highest number, or n1 is the lowest number, n3 is the middle number, and n2 is the highest number. We'll go over the remaining possibilities in the same way. So it's also possible that n2 is the lowest number, in which case we'll have n2 is less than or equal to n1 and n3. And then from here, either n1 is the middle number or n3 is the middle number. So either n1 is less than or equal to n3 and n1 is the middle number, or n3 is less than or equal to n1 and n3 is the middle number. And finally, n3 could be the lowest number because n3 is less than or equal to n1 and n2, in which case either n1 or n2 is going to be the middle number. So either n1 is less than or equal to n2 or n2 is less than or equal to n1. And these here are the six possibilities. So now that we've laid out the possibilities, it might be possible to see a solution to this problem. In order to solve this problem, we're going to use nested if statements. Nested if statements are when we use an if statement inside of another if statement. So we're going to use an outer if else if else statement to determine which of n1, n2, or n3 is the lowest number. Then we can use inner if else statements to determine which of the two remaining numbers is the middle number and which is the highest number. So now that we've figured out the problem, we can write the code. So first we'll have if n1 is less than or equal to n2 and n1 is less than or equal to n3, then we know n1 is the lowest number. So we'll set a variable lowest equal to n1 and we're going to use variables lowest, middle, and highest to keep track of the lowest, middle, and highest numbers. Now this here is the first part of our outer if, else if, else statement. Next, we'll make our first inner if, else statement. So we'll have here, if n2 is less than or equal to n3, then we know that n2 is the middle number. So we'll have here, middle is equal to n2, and highest is equal to n3. Otherwise, it's the other way around. n3 is the middle and n2 is the highest. So we'll have here, else, middle is equal to n3 and highest is equal to n2. And this here that we've just implemented 
is exactly this logic here. Next, we can make our else if case. So here we'll have else if n2 is less than or equal to n1 and n2 is less than or equal to n3, then n2 is the lowest number. So we'll have here lowest is equal to n2. And then we'll repeat the pattern above to determine which of n1 or n3 is the middle number. So we'll have here, if n1 is less than or equal to n3, that means n1 is the middle number. So we'll have middle is equal to n1 and highest is equal to n3. Otherwise, it's the other way around and we'll have middle is equal to n3 and highest is equal to n1. Then we can implement this last case here. And for this case here, we can actually use an else. At this point, we know that n3 must be the lowest number. So we'll just have else, and then we'll have lowest is equal to n3. Then we'll repeat the pattern again, where if n1 is less than or equal to n2, then we know that n1 is the middle number. So we'll have middle is equal to n1, and highest is equal to n2. Otherwise, it's the other way around, and we'll have middle is equal to n2, and highest is equal to n1. And that's the algorithm. We can now output the numbers in ascending or descending order. So we'll have here print, and then ascending colon, with lowest, middle, and highest. And we'll also output the numbers in descending order. So we'll have print, descending colon, and highest, middle, and lowest. So we can now save the program and try it out. So we'll save it and run it. And for the numbers, I'll put in 25, 10, and 15. And we get in ascending order 10, 15, and 25, and in descending order 25, 15, and 10, which is correct. So our algorithm is working. So this is how we can sort three numbers in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.